final practice today? Can you just you know give us a, a run through of how it went? Yeah, it was good. You know, practice went well, and uh, yeah, it's just it, it's good. I miss time to play. I think uh, I'm sure Georgia Tech feels the same as we do. Everybody's tired of looking at <laughs> each other, and I know the players are tired of practice. So it's uh, it's, it's good that the game's getting close. I heard you out during warm up shouting sharp and detail. Was that kind of the theme of today's practice? No, that, that's every. This is a Thursday practice for us. I mean, it's at the end of the week. You know, you want the guys to really be uh, focusing in a little bit better and. I think we had a good day. At the end of the season, you know, you're both your running backs are kind of dinged up a little bit. How are they coming into this game? Yeah, we haven't made it yet. We're uh, still probably, I don't know, I'm guessing like, what, 50 hours away from game time, 51-2 or something like that. So we're hoping that we can get both guys into the into the game healthy. You know, I thought we were there in Ohio State. didn't work out. But uh, that's one of our goals is get two running backs to the game healthy. So we'll see what happens. With all the distractions with bold situations, I mean, how do you like to focus with your team right? It, it's been good. I think these, these guys, you know, based on what I'm seeing, uh, they've handled the whole trip well. Um, I think last year's group really did a good job of setting an example how to do things. Uh, and we told them at the beginning of the year, a month, I mean, it just, you know, if you want to know how to handle a bowl game, do, do what the guys did last year. And, uh, you know, credit there to our seniors. They, they really did a nice job. And I, I think uh, our older guys this year have really done a good job of uh, helping the younger guys understand what we're supposed to do. And they, they've enjoyed it. The distractions have been good. I mean, I can't say enough about the hospitality here. It's been absolutely fantastic. And uh, we, we've, we've never gone to a bad bowl. And all, i got three in my mind right now that we've been to it, just been tremendous. And this, this one is over the top. I mean, the, the committee here has just done a great job, I think, of uh, understand what players like. You know, they, they've had nice activities, but haven't overburdened them. And, the hospitality couldn't be any better. So we're, you know, we just all feel very, very fortunate to be here and very appreciative. How much did you learn from seven years ago? Being here? Yeah, you know, I said that yesterday. I, I really think that was more of uh, where we were at in time, not so much uh, in, in geographic location. Uh, but it, it's just where we were in time. You know, we weren't uh, ready to handle that uh, that type of a, a month uh, very well, and, and we didn't. You know, and it showed during the game. The, the illustration I made yesterday. You know, we had three defensive offsides just. Give you a list of about ten things. We'll stop there, but yeah, that's just not uh, representative of any team that's playing in a, in a you know good bowl game. And, uh, you know, so it just is an indication that we didn't handle it much well. But like I said, there were about ten other things that happened that game that we'll fit right in there. Ricky looked like he was moving pretty good out there. Are you worried game wise though no. with cuts or nothing? No, else? not at all. I mean, you know, he's he's been practicing for a couple of weeks here, and you know, we, we've done a lot of high tempo stuff, and uh, you know he, he looks absolutely fine. So I'm, I'm not worried about him at all. You mentioned 50 hours till game time, and you're just trying to kind of get all you guys in healthy. What else could happen if you know you guys? You know, food a... poisoning. I you know I don't know any anything. You know, somebody get hit by a bus or something like that. But uh, uh, you know, hopefully, I, th I think you know. I guess my point is, I think we're over the toughest part now. So uh, you know, maybe somebody has a flash in their camera tomorrow, a picture day or something like that, and you know, something freaky. But I, th I think you know the, the heavy lifting's done now, so that's good. Uh, other than just the pure size, can you explain a little bit of, uh, of what uh, Belaga does so well as an offensive lineman? Well, yeah, you know, he, he wasn't as big when he got to us, but he was playing pretty well as a freshman, which is really unusual. And uh, The biggest thing is, you know, he's just uh, he's a guy with a great attitude. He had that coming in. Uh, he's, he's very focused, very determined. He's a very uh, aggressive football player, and he's a smart football player. So, yeah, he's improved it every year. And, uh, yeah, we're just uh, you know, sad he's healthy and ready to go. This He's had a tough year this year with injuries, but he's healthy and he's ready to play. What will your you offensive play line look like on? Guys on? like that who are thinking about kind of pro. What, what's your we're just, approach? You know, we, we've covered this territory about 6,000 times already, yeah. but, uh, you know, we, we try to give them the most accurate information we can. Uh, we've probably surveyed uh, 8 to 10 uh, National Football League teams and uh, given them that feedback that we received. And, uh, you know, and what he needs to do is just kind of weigh it all out and uh, understand there's no guarantees no matter what he does. And uh, ultimately, he has to do what's best for him. And I, I think that's uh, true of everybody. All that we ask guys to do on our team is, is play, uh, you know, be as good a team members as they can. And you know, whenever it comes time for him to leave, you know, we, uh, we wish everybody the best, obviously. What will it's your front five look like tomorrow? Thank you. Or Tuesday? Hopefully good, you know, uh, hopefully good. Is the same know, lineup we'll as finished the season? Oh, I can't remember that far back. We'll see what happens. It's not that, you know. How does we'll, Dace we'll work? The guys have been practicing well. How does Dace work back in, though? That gives you an extra Yeah, it gives us a uh, six-man, you know, that we feel pretty good about. So, you know, we haven't talked about that yet, but we will tonight or tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure we'll have some kind of rotation going. But we'll get Dace in the game. He's practiced well. Um, you know, two and a half weeks, three weeks ago, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. But he's, he's continually climbing the mountain. And... Uh, uh, you know, he's a little sore after workouts, things like that, but he, he seems fine, so I think we'll, we'll get him in there, and it's good.
Just well, academic, the academic front. We're good. Good, good to go. Good yep. to go. I, I know that officially now. I can okay. say officially with a smile on my face, good to go. And uh, we'll get back at that about two weeks from now and, you know, be fine. Talk about Carl Klug. Is he a little bit of an unsung hero for your guys? We don't yeah. we don't write about him, yeah, talk I'm about glad, him. I'm glad you really brought that up, Andrew. Because uh, there, there's two guys, you know, if 